Jesus was seen by many people for 40 days after he was crucified. The day Jesus went up to heaven, the disciples asked when the kingdom would start. Jesus didn't say. He did tell them to wait for the Holy Spirit. They would receive power from the Holy Spirit. The Spirit would tell them how to proceed in a worldwide expansion of what they'd witnessed. Then Jesus rose up into the sky. An angel said, He will return in the same way as you've watched him go. Ten days later, the disciples were in a house praying when everyone got touched with what looked like fire. They all began praising God in different languages, spilling onto the street. Out of town, visitors began to recognize their own languages. It created a buzz that gathered a crowd. Peter addressed them with Joel's prophecies about the Holy Spirit coming in the final days, and that anyone who called on the name of the Lord would be saved from sin and death. The super king came and went. He's coming back to take over officially. Anyone can join up before the judgment comes. 3,000 folks called upon the name of the Lord that day. Many more followed. Signs and wonders were being accomplished by the apostles. In the first church in Jerusalem, anyone who was worth anything gave it all to the general fund, and everyone lived off it. Everyone was happy and cared for. Barnabas was a big contributor. One afternoon, Peter and John healed a beggar everyone knew posted near the temple. Peter announced, hey folks, don't look at us. It is the Jesus you crucified recently who is responsible. He is the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham. Call on his name and be saved from sin and death and judgment to come. Church size went over 5,000 that day. The apostles were brought before the same council Jesus saw. Peter told the council it was Jesus who they crucified doing all this. They warned Peter and let them go. The apostles found plenty of indication in the prophets they'd have resistance from the religious establishment, so they continued with joy. The apostles landed in jail again. An angel created a jailbreak. The apostles went back to preaching. Later, all the apostles were flogged by the officials. The church continued to grow and sent out evangelists. Stephen was the first martyr. Stephen referred to the promise made to Abraham in his final statement. He said Jesus was the fulfillment of that promise. They stoned him. A fellow named Saul held the coats for those throwing the stones. A full-scale purge began and Saul was leading the charge against the apostles. 